Okay, here's where we left off. So now we're going to roughly throw in our... Um, head, a rough, roughly throwing our head. I went ahead and darkened down our sketches that I had, um, just so you all could see it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna get me a new mesh and go to the new mesh, and this is the mesh I'm gonna make my head in. So let's go to the side view here. Let's grab a sphere with um, eight sides and four segments. And I'm going to drag one out here uh, to about, I don't know, 16 and a half inches or something like that. And I'm going to hit the E key so I can rotate it. I'm going to rotate it around like this. Okay, let's go to our perspective view. That looks like we're pretty right on there. Okay, let's go to our left view again. Let's turn on our wireframe. And let's... Spacebar drop the tool. Let's change our wireframe to blue so y'all can see it better. Let's zoom in here. Go to our vert mode and let's start pulling some verts around after we roughly place this in place. Let's pull it up here like this. Okay, that's looking okay, I guess. Okay, let's grab some verts now. Let's grab these and pull them up. I'm going to turn off the face mask mesh so I can see better. And let's grab these, pull them down and over. Let's grab this middle one, grab it all the way down here. Let's drag these two up a little bit and back. Like that. Let's grab these. And just push and pull your points until you get about what you're looking for. And that looks roughly like an okay shape there we're getting. For now. Let's go to perspective. Let's turn off our backdrops and turn on all of our geometry. And now we're going to just roughly place in our mask. Like so. Let's go to our front view. Let's take our head here. Widen it out a little bit. Like so. Okay, now we can go in here and, you know, tweak our mask. Just a little bit, you know, I mean, it don't have to be a lot. So, and we can do the same thing on this side, but I think I'm going to just mirror everything, so that's not really a concern with me at the moment. If you want to fool with it, manipulate it, and move it back and stuff, you can. It's up to you. But, like I said, I'm not going to mess with it too much. Let's go ahead and push it back a little bit more. A little bit too far there. That's a little better. Let's grab our verts here. Pull that on just a little bit there to get. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. 
Okay, now we got our mask roughly in place. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get a new mesh and briefly start on the neck. So let's grab a tube with eight sides and two segments and let's drag one out. We're going to roughly place it in here. Like so. Drag it up. Now let's sub D that so we can pick the end polygons. Hit the B key, click once to bevel it, and it'll flatten those out. Okay, now we have our neck. So let's turn everything off, except our head and neck. Let's select our neck and let's go to Boolean, Union. Actually, my fault, go to your head layer and run the Boolean Union. Say OK. And actually, you can run that in subdivided mode first if you want, or, or it don't matter. So let's go to our head layer. Union, okay, that puts them together there as you can see. So let me go ahead and go in here and join some points. You'll have a couple places where there's going to be two verts. Go in here and look and check everything out. Those need joined. Hit the tab key and if you notice we have a nice smooth union between our neck and our head and we can go in, I'm gonna go in off camera and clean all this up by running loop slices if you see when I run those loop slices there it, it smooths out our neck a whole lot there now we got some nice rounding going on there I'll run this last one okay Okay, there we go. Now let's turn back on everything. Now we can turn this neck layer off completely or just delete it. Okay, now we have that. Nice little neck there joined in. And in our next video, we'll start on our arms.